Hey there, it's Brittany. Welcome back. I um, wanted to show you an um, updated finished jewelry video featuring um, the beads I received from Christine White uh, in ChristineWhiteStyle.com. Um, I am not even halfway through the ideas that I have for all the amazing truly awesome beads that I got from um, their website. Um, if you check out my last video, it was um, a surprise unboxing um, that Christine White and her website sent me of the, just their incredible products. So check that out. I'm going to show you a few pieces that I've made um, over the weekend. And uh, some of them, most of them are from the items I got in that box, but some of them are from their site that I uh, had already that I wanted to use. So the first thing I'm going to show you is this awesome necklace and earrings set. Um, these lantern beads came from their site. I actually purchased these and um, was inspired to use them this weekend. So this is the first thing I ever bought from Christine White Style were these lantern beads. And I bought I, a friend of mine I, on Facebook had used these beads and I said, where did you get those? And she told me Christine White Style. So I immediately placed an order and that's pretty much how I've you know, ever found Christine. I, I had followed her on um, Instagram, but I had never placed an order until I found these beads. And the, the, there's a glare. These are beautiful shell lanterns. So this is what got me obsessed with their we their website were these lanterns. I had these brass links um, and I wire wrapped them using the wire that came in one of the kits that um, their website sent me. So this was the wire that came in one of the kits and it just worked so perfectly with these um, rectangle brass pendant components I had. So I made these earrings. Unfortunately, I don't really wear earrings other than my gold balls, but these will be a present or, or else I, don't, I might even sell them. Who knows? <laughs> um, that would make me have to do some work though. So <laughs> we'll see. Um, and then here's the matching necklace using some Rolo chain that I purchased in Tucson. So I just, they're so simple. I'm keeping the necklace because I definitely will wear that. That's my aesthetic. Um, so I, I just love these. They're, it's bigger than they're looking on the, um, the screen. Um, let's see. I don't, oh, I do have my trusty dusty fabric ruler. It's the pendant uh, is about three and a quarter inches long with the brass and the lantern. Um, with the jump ring, it's three and a half. So really fun, very simple, very elegant. Probably just wear it with a black shirt so much fun okay um the next thing i made was um actually a set it was a bracelet actually that could just go with the necklace and the earrings that i just showed you um i also purchased these sponge coral beads from christinewhitestyle.com those they're they're aqua like a mint color i don't know if you can tell um in the camera because the way the lights coming in looks a little blown out in my camera but another one of these lantern beads some gold plated lava beads and then some gold spacers thought those were it was really fun very beachy and i also made this necklace to go with it um and i including uh the polymer clay pendant on the necklace so um here i beaded some chain with the gold plated lava beads, the lanterns, and the sponge coral. And then I hung another lantern at the bottom and then made this beautiful like um, antiqued gold uh, lantern pendant. So uh, watch my latest polymer clay tutorial on hammered metal. I did it almost the exact same way, but I didn't use the texturing portion. Um, and I do like the imperfections in it. It looks more antique, just like the chain, just like the lava beads. And I just think it really is a perfect um, mix to go with these lantern beads. I think it's just so beautiful. And I think they were made to go with each other. Uh, let's see. So I did make, um, since these were kits, I did make one item. <laughs> Uh, one item that was exactly like the kit showed and it's this bracelet because I really liked how they had styled this bracelet on their on, on their website pictures so it used one of the focal beads um, some hematite 
rounds, some polymer clay heishi beads, and some uh, crystals, which all of those you can find in that kit that was supplied. It was one of the bracelet kits. And I like the way they had styled that so much, so I made it the exact same bracelet. Um, nothing else is the exact same from their website, and it's kind of like the fun part. I liked adding in my own beads and stuff. Um, so, but I really did like the, the design on this bracelet, so I, I will definitely use this. Um, another necklace. So I made the, there, I think it was the Brahma necklace that I showed the kit for. Um, I used all of the components in that kit and I didn't add anything else except for I made it in a different way than they had shown. So I made a Y necklace instead of their, their necklace that they showed how to make in the, 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 um, card. So instead of just beaded chain, uh, well, beaded chain around the neck, including the mat um, chain that they included. I did a long pendant using the quatrefoil um, shell uh, flower beads, and then I used one of the beaded um, head pins that was in one of the other kits to, to make the drop at the end. And then I used one of the matte jump rings and some uh, beaded the chain up going up with the smaller quatrefoils. Uh, this necklace is so simple and elegant and unique, and um, it'll go with any color. I'm planning to wear, I, I don't really wear white shirts, but I plan to wear it with um, black. Um, it would look really nice with a cream shirt. It would look really nice with a turquoise shirt, any like solid color or print. Um, I didn't add the clasp on the back because it's such a long necklace. It goes right over the head. Um, but I just thought, you know, these beads are such high quality. I did have one that I couldn't use because um, the hole wouldn't allow a head pin to go through. And some of them were, had a little bit of a, a dip in the side, but I'm not going to pay attention to that when I'm wearing it. And on the other side, it looks a little better. So um, it's this is really just a stunning necklace and it's totally my style and I will wear it a lot. I love long necklaces, especially when I'm wearing just a simple shirt. Um, it draws, it makes you look taller, even though I'm already six feet tall. It, it you know, slims you and it draws your eye um, vertically and it's just so pretty. And I'm just, it, this will be definitely a staple in my wardrobe for sure. Um, and I tried to make only jewelry that I would wear because um, I'm not at the point anymore where I want to sell my jewelry. Um, I <laughs> give jewelry away all the time, but I always make stuff that I want to wear because, um, like I said, I don't really dispose of my jewelry that much. So making stuff that um, I'm not going to wear doesn't really make sense. Although I do um, donate jewelry um, to Dress for Success. Um, so this bracelet was made using two different two different kits. Um, these came the gold hematite beads came in the bracelet kit and this came in the necklace kit the African beads and then I had these beads so I added these um, in but I think uh, christinewhitestyle.com also has similar beads if not they have some bone rondelles um, full disclaimer I placed another order so I cannot wait for it to get here so I can um, I, I got some things that would really go with some of the beads that I have left plus you know all of my other beads so I had a cart going on their site and they actually had a sale going on this weekend so I decided to to buy some stuff so I'll be showing you guys an unboxing video sometime this week or next week because it's already shipped so definitely my aesthetic definitely this is neutrals these this will go with anything any gold bracelet any cream bracelet anything really um, just so pretty um, I have a few more pieces, I think three more for right now. Um, I've been working on this stuff all weekend. Also, I got a new dog. Um, she's, well, she's new to me. I rescued her. Um, and her name, I named her Goldie and she's a six pound long haired chihuahua who's gold and she's adorable. And right now she's hiding under my couch. <laughs> so, um, here's a new, uh, a new set of bracelets that I made using, um, one, the bracelet kit. So it's so funny because after I put these bracelets together, I was like, I was going through the necklace kit and I was like, oh, duh, they get, they sent the green beads in the necklace kit that I could have used in these, um, 
in these bracelets. So I'm pretty sure I'm going, I got these beads in Tucson. However, their site, I looked, they have some nice, besides these, they have some nice green African beads. So you could um, recreate these looks with the beads that are available on their site. Cause I got these in Tucson from somebody who doesn't have an online site. So um, this focal was in the, uh, the bracelet kit. So were these hematite beads and these gray wood uh, rounds. So these are so pretty. Again, they're neutrals. Uh, I count green, this color green is a neutral. This can go with so many different things. Perfect for summer. Um, yeah, I'm probably, like I said, going to make some kind of necklace to go with these and I have some beads um, that remind me of this because I've used both of these that came in that kit. I'll show you on what next. So yeah, I'm obsessed with these. They're so pretty. And the, I think this is the last, yeah, last but not least is this necklace. Um, so I used several kits on this necklace. Um, so funny story, I made some polymer clay um, pendants to use with the amazing kits that they sent me um, and I used the technique that I used in my latest um, polymer clay video but the sealant I used went wrong and didn't look like um, it didn't just turn out clear it like made this look antique bra uh, gold instead of uh, just gold gold so I was gonna throw it out but then I put, put it next to these brass beads and it looks like antique brass so happy accident mistakes with polymer, polymer clay are always fun so I made this quatrefoil and actually was gonna use this with um, these beads but it didn't turn out right sorry I dropped the necklace it didn't turn out right, so I was like, oh no, what am I gonna do with these beads? But happy accidents, like I said, turn into great things. I made this beautiful necklace, and this one's right up my alley too. So this brace, or this came in the bracelet kit. This um, focal bead also came in the bracelet kit. Uh, these, this spacer right here, and this spacer came in the, um, I can't remember the name, I think it's Empress. I, I, I might be wrong, I don't have to look that up. I don't have the card near me. Um, came in, oh, maybe I do have the card. No, I don't. So it came in the memory wire bracelet kit, this nice bone and brass bead on the top. And then I knotted um, several matching beads. This one was really hard to match. So it's more green turquoise and it's dark than most of my like dyed magnesite beads. So I have bags and bags of these things. And on the camera they look similar but this is much more blue than this green green turquoise this is a beautiful oh, sorry they're both beautiful colors however this one was really hard to match so i went into my stash i found these gold i think they're fake druzy beads and these i don't know i, I think they're some kind of composite gemstone bead um but whatever they are they're gorgeous they've got green and turquoise and blue and black and brown and there's I think some tr translucence in there somehow um, I used more of these from the uh, memory wire bracelet kit and then I kind of staggered I did the same pattern but I used the middle bead the um, bone beads are different so these were from the necklace kit and so were these so I beaded that up to the top and then I tied the nut the knot, oh, I'm sorry, the knotting um, Eslon onto some leather and then used a an antique brass cla uh, toggle clasp. So I used a lot of techniques on here and I'm so happy I did. So knotting, um, polymer clay, leather, and just, you know, this necklace is pretty much all the different techniques that I've been using this whole entire year and I'm not gonna stop but <laughs> it's so much fun I just think it's so much fun so this was part one of my um, finished jewelry update featuring Christine white style beads um, I was blown away with the amount of things that they sent me the quality of the things they sent me and it's just really inspired me to keep going like I have so many ideas but I wanted to get this video out to you guys so you can see what I've been working on so far um, 
and I, I knew the new the new dog would be taking up a lot of my time so I wanted to make sure that I didn't forget and then I got the video up uh, plan on another finished video another finished update within the next few days um, I'm I also want to work on one for my um, artisan beads but that one's kind of taken a back seat oh 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 I have another piece I forgot it <laughs> here we go totally forgot I made this before I got that package from them however it is featuring their beads so I don't know if you remember but I had this pendant and uh, this is the idea that I came up with oh I just love it it's a multi-strand turquoise choke it's choker it's not maybe it's not a choker but this comes right to my um right in the middle of my collarbones. So it's very short. Um, let me see, I made a matching bracelet. Here we go. Matching bracelets are very plain, but they perfectly match. I use the a toggle. I don't know where I got the toggles. Maybe bargain bead box, I don't know. But um, I've had these beads for years and years and years and I never knew what I was gonna do with them, but I had a ton of them, obviously. Um, so I made this matching thing, uh, this matching set, but this pendant was my inspiration. So the minute I saw it, I was like, oh, I gotta make a big statement piece. And nothing statement uh, makes more of a statement from Turquoise Street than turquoise, a big turquoise necklace. So um, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'm gonna include again the links down below to christinewhitestyle.com and to the kits that I used in some of these pieces. Like I said, this is only part one. I just, there, there were so many beads and so little time and I wanted to get an update to you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I love all your comments. You guys, um, a lot of me, a lot of you told me that you love their website and that you've purchased from them before. So if you guys got anything over the weekend with their sale, let me know. I want to know what you guys got. Um, I'll be back soon and thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a good rest of your day.